Hi there. I'm here with a video. As you can see, I'm doing an updated video of my acrylic and gel brushes. And from a distance, as you can see, here is, and I have a new stand that they're on. And I really like this stand. It's awesome. And I think I got the stand from AliExpress. It was very, very, very hard to find. Um, if anyone wants, I'll try to find a link to it, but it's hard to find. If you look, I know it's a little dusty. Um, if you'll see the holes, it's the small holes on here and it's very hard to find. I mean, I really looked and I almost gave up and it just happened to pop up as I was hard looking to find. For. I'm going to try to order another one if I can. I'm surprised I found this one. If I can find the link for it again but anyway on with the video these are all my brushes now I've got this, wow, this brush right here this is a poly gel brush this top end see is the for the poly gel and the other bottom end of it is the brush part of it I don't think I can take that part. if I can get it for you I'm a little oh yeah I can get it here it is and that's the part of it right there the brush part I can stick it back down in there but um um this is a panna brush and it is a size 18 panna and that's one of my better brushes this I ordered um, from eBay, and I think it's a 18 also, yes. I ordered this one from eBay. Um, I'm not crazy about this one because it's a cheaper brush, really, really cheap. even though the price um, but it sheds, so I would not do this one again. Um, I'm trying to think where I ordered this one from. I think I ordered that one from Amazon. I think this one's pretty okay. This one is my Win. I'm thinking this is my Winstonia. I, order. I like this one. It's good. Winstonia has good brushes. I think this one also is a Winstonia brush that I have. This one is one that I ordered from Amazon. I'm not crazy about that one. It sheds. It's a cheap brush. Wouldn't buy that one again. Okay, let's see if I can shift this around. Let's see if we can go on a merry-go-round with this. Here we go. Okay. I'm back with this. So, show you a few of these brushes. They are very gorgeous brushes, but this is this kind of a brush. It's a, um, um, uh, you know, ombre brushes. I think that's what they call them. This one is a gel, square gel brush. Nice. This is my, I showed this, my Enel Couture brush. Um, let's see what I have behind here. Behind here, if I can get here. These are my Mia Secret brushes. This is the number 8 brush. This is the number 10 brush. This is, I think, a number, I'm not sure if that's an 8 or a 10. I forget. I've had this one for so Where long. Where you put it. Trying to see. Okay, this brush here. This black one here, this came from Koopa. I got it in the package that I got. Okay, let's turn on. Some of these red. brushes you guys have seen already. This is my new Mia Secret brush. This is a brush I got from um, Ugly Duckling. This one right here. You know, this is my Koopa Divinity. This is my, this is a standby, my old crystal nail brush. This one is from the nail superstore, the Artesian Grandmaster. I cannot remember where I got this from. Um, I don't know I where know that I company can't. is. This is my CJP. I love this brush too. My CJP Big Boy brush. This is my NSI. Um, I forget what they call that brush. I got that on eBay. Let's see. And then move on around. These are my Panna brushes. This one, this one, 
and uh, this one. And this is the one alpha brush that I have. This is just a brush that I ordered off of eBay. As you can see, let me show you the bottom of these. I don't really use this one. It was a big brush. I may try to use it again and see how it worked. I don't think I liked it too well when I did it, but it's a kind of a cheap brush I got off of eBay. But this is an update of my nail brushes. If you can see it from a distance. Here we go. All my nail brushes, my acrylic brushes. And yes, some of these brushes were kind of expensive. Like when you get on the other side over here, over here on this front side where I just came from, the Artesian, the CJP. I'm, I'm thinking with shipping and all that, the CJP P brush cost me about, it was about 60 something dollars for that brush. But I love it. It's worth it. You know, it's like a treat for myself. Um, the crystal nails, this um, Cooper brush. Most of these are pretty high-end brushes. And I mean, they work really well. They work, they, there's no shedding of these brushes or anything. You know, most people know what this brush is. It's like a 3D brush. I just got it. I don't do any 3D. I've never had a chance to really to sit down and practice that like I should, but I, I did want to get the brush as I showed now. before. I tried to get around to using each one of my brushes over again. And um, I did use recently use this brush. I did a few of my nails with the um, poly gel. Let me see if I can. Okay, this is the product that I use. I just wanted to order. I'm not going to order any of the expensive, like the gelish. I don't know if you can see it. It's in clear. And it works very well. I did, I put some on some of these nails that I have here. Um, I'm trying to think. I know I did this one because this one broke off. So now I've got it back. But I did put some of the poly gel on that. And it does look very nice. It does really look great. And it work, It works um, exceptional. And it was only, I think I got it from Amazon. And it was like $7.99. It's not a prime um, thing. So you have to wait. I think I had to wait about three weeks to get it. Pretty much going to order. And if I can, I want to order two more. Because I do like it. I did not want to try the poly gel. So I, I like this good. kind. So I think I'll stick with this kind if I can continue to get it. Um... So that is the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.